Hey YouTube, it's Teresa. According to my last video, it has been four months since I last posted something. And if you watch my videos, you can probably see why. Um, and I'll get all into all that later. I will just go and recap the story of my weight loss surgery. So my highest weight, which was also my surgery consult weight, was 330 pounds. I put myself on a five-week pre-op diet because I um, knew I had a fatty liver even when I was much, much smaller. So I wanted to give my best, myself my best chances during surgery. Um, and date of surgery was January 17th, 2012, I believe. And I weighed 294 pounds. Let me look and make sure it was 2012. Yes, okay, sorry. Um, and then by about November, 2012 I was down to 165 pounds and uh, that was like a 165 pound total loss from 330 and I'm not sure what it was from the date of surgery so the last time I came to you guys four months ago I was excited because I was almost at back down to my 100 pound lost um, I weighed 239 let me look at my book 239.6 Unfortunately, this is the heaviest you guys have probably ever seen me on YouTube, except for my um, video where I show every month to month my progression from the date of surgery. So actually, no, this is the heaviest you've ever seen me because today I weigh 305.8 pounds. That is a whopping gain of 66.2 pounds in four months. So, I am back in the bathroom, which is one of the first places I did my video. I did it because my house is very noisy. My house is also very messy. I have a lot of kids, I have a lot of pets. Um, but today it is, well my son is awake and he's noisy, but it's more because my house is messy. Because as you can see, when I start to fall apart, everything in my life falls apart, which is really crappy since it's right before Christmas. Um, if you can hear the raspiness in my voice, no, I am not sick. This is all part of me gaining so much weight. I don't feel the symptoms of the acid reflux, but I have severe acid reflux now and I'm out of the medicine. So I'm back to having like a raspy throat. So the last time I came to you guys, I was going to a friend's house and we were going to eat and I was completely prepared. I brought um, everything I could think of keto, like hard, expensive hard cheeses, pepperoni. I knew that she was making meatballs and um, some form of pasta. And I brought shirataki noodles, which only have like one net gram of carbs in the whole bag. Um, so that I could just put the meatball in the sauce or gravy, whatever you want to call it, on top of my noodles so that I did not cheat. And then my friend convinced me it was okay to have a piece of cake, just 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 have a piece of cake. It's annoying, right? And I thought that I was in this place where now I could do this, I can live in real life without effing up. That's what I thought. So I had that piece of cake and then my kids left half of their cakes on the plate and I ate the rest of their cake. And... I thought I could go right back on it as soon as I got home. And I did. I got back on it. I wound up with a really bad strep throat and I didn't know. I sat for like three weeks with a sore throat because I let it sit for two weeks and then went to the doctor. Um, and I started eating ice cream again because that's what I told myself I needed to do. To, that's the only thing I could have that would not hurt my throat. So it started out with Halo Top and um, What's the other one that's popular right now? Because they sell both of them at my local grocery store. So it started out with those, the Halo Top and, oh, I can't think of what it's called. But it started out with me just eating those and then it gradually became, well, I'm gonna have Ben and Jerry's, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And then I just never got back on and it's been ape crap since then. I mean, how else do you gain 66.2 pounds in four months? So, this is where I made my first video, and I was comfortably in the shower. I am, like, 
in so much pain right now because I'm so big and can barely fit in here. Um, this is how, uh, I don't know if this is like a really good angle so you can see how big I've gotten. It's not cute. And I'm not like body shaming anyone else. I'm just talking about myself. I don't feel cute. I feel like crap. Um, I have very bad plantar fasciitis and heel spurs, something with my, I have knock knees or something, the foot doctor said, and my body is like folding inwards and collapsing on itself. Um, and that's why I have hip and knee pain, she had told me. And this is just exasperated by this waking. So everything in my life basically is good as far as my kids, my husband, my family. But as far as what I've done to myself with food, it's devastating because I can't move. Um, I can't do a lot. My house is a mess. I have one job now. I don't work anymore. I've worked my whole life since I was 12. I haven't worked in two years. Um, so my only job is here and I don't do anything. Um, and I feel really bad for my family. My back always hurts when even I just do dishes. Um, I can't really walk anywhere. The only exercise I do is I volunteer at the school once a week and the library for the kids and that's on the third floor. So I climb to the third floor and that's the only exercise I get all week. Um, so it seems crazy that I'd make this video now, six days away from my daughter's eighth birthday where there's gonna be cake. And then it's gonna be the seven fishes and a big feast um, Christmas Eve and then Christmas. And then there's New Year's. Um, but if I don't do something, I'm gonna die. I'm so ashamed that I haven't gone to my doctor to follow up. Um, I've let this pharmacy call for refills on my prescriptions. <clears throat> I, um, I just feel like a failure and it's not fun to feel that way about yourself. So I don't know how good I'm going to do, but I feel like I needed to post this video. Um, because if I don't, I feel like I'll disappear forever. I now weigh more than I did the day I had my surgery and I just do not find that to be acceptable. Um, I just don't. So, I have to just start over. I can't make any promises to myself. I don't want to set myself up for failure. But I know that no matter what, I can't just stop making the videos and being accountable and disappear. Because when I do that, it's a disaster. And right now, it's not good because I'm hurting my family and I'm hurting my life and you would just think people just say oh so people should love you no matter what and you're beautiful no matter what size hey listen even though there's truth in that it's ruining my life